Hey, economist! That net of Abel's is making some economic waves. The two of them are producing fish and clothes like crazy. It's inconceivable. Nope, it's just economics. If Charlie spends her day fishing, she catches one fish. But if she spends her day weaving, she can weave one shirt. Yeah, so each day Charlie spends weaving, she gets another shirt at the cost of not catching another fish. Exactly. It's what we call opportunity cost. The cost of not getting something because you got something else instead. Charlie has to give up fishing to make a shirt. So the opportunity cost of the shirt is a fish. If Abel spends the day fishing with his net, he can catch four fish. But if he spends the whole day weaving, he can't even weave one shirt. He gave up weaving after one day. His opportunity cost of a shirt is the fish he can't catch while he's weaving. Right, now watch this. Let's suppose that if Abel spent two days weaving, he could have made a shirt as good as Charlie's. What is Abel's opportunity cost? Two days of fishing means eight fish. Two days of weaving means one shirt. That can't be right. But it is. Each shirt Abel makes costs him eight fish that he didn't have the time to catch. His opportunity cost for a shirt is eight fish. So Charlie's cost is one fish and Abel's is eight? For the same shirt? Charlie's opportunity cost is less than Abel's. That's the source of her comparative advantage in shirt production. So what? Abel is better at fishing than Charlie. I already knew that. Do people actually pay you to tell them things they already know? Suppose Abel and Charlie both wanted a lot of fish and shirts, and we gave them four days to come up with as many fish and shirts as they could. Now, if Abel spends two days fishing and two days making shirts, what does he get? That's easy. Four fish a day and two days per shirt, eight fish and one shirt. Good. Now, if Charlie spends two days fishing and two days making shirts, what does she get? Two fish and two shirts. Good. So together, what do they have? That's ten fish and three shirts. What's your point? We're almost there. Now, suppose Abel spends all four days fishing and Charlie spends all four days weaving. What would they have then? Abel gets 16 fish and Charlie makes four shirts. Wait a minute. That's way more than they had when they spent two days fishing and two days weaving. Exactly. Abel has a comparative advantage in fishing and Charlie has a comparative advantage in weaving. So when they specialize, each producing the thing they're better at producing, they can exchange fish for shirts and they're both better off. Well, that's great for Abel and Charlie, but what about me? Why don't I have a comparative advantage? That's the wonderful thing, everyone. Even you has a comparative advantage. You just have to find it.